Now, we're going to roll on into a brand new segment on the show. As I said earlier, this is called The Hot Seat. And the way this works is that we each have a hot take of the week. And we have to present this hot take. And we we can rate it um, uh, in terms of um, if we're going heat. We'll rate it in terms of pepper. So like a really cold take and kind of a bad take. We'll call that a bell pepper, for example. A really hot a spice steak, we could call that the ghost pepper or the, uh, was it the Carolina Reaper? Yeah. We can give these ratings and you guys could give us ratings too, either by commenting on Twitter or on YouTube or sending us something of that sort. And Jalen, I'm going to give it the first take of this week, okay? All right, let's do this. Here is my scalding hot take, super hot, boiling hot, the surface temperature of the sun hot a lot of people might call me crazy but i have not heard this take yet in any of the espn any of the cbs any of the other stuff i've seen i've even seen crazy fans talk about this on on twitter which is saying something but here is my take so the raiders and so this is like three takes in one but the mm-hmm. basis of this take is that raiders quarterback Derek carr will not begin the season as a member of the Las Vegas Raiders. Instead, hmm. what's going to happen, Jalen, because it's not an if, it's a when. What's going to happen is that Derek Carr, we all know that him and John Gruden have been having some issues reportedly, and John Gruden doesn't really have faith and doesn't see Derek Carr as a future as a quarterback of the future. So with that being said, he is going to rejoin Khalil Mack, and they're going to become teammates again. He's going to be traded to the Bears in order to give Mitch Trubisky either at least a, some sort of veteran competition and some sort of and, and some sort of presence there. Urgency. And he maybe even be the starter. Yes, urgency. And the way what's going to happen is that he's going to be traded to the Bears. The Raiders will instead to fill the void. They're going to sign a veteran quarterback in Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill is going to be a free agent this year, and he's not going to be re-signed with the Titans because you wonder who is? Tom Brady will be joining Mike Vrabel and that run game, and he's going. Tom Brady is going to be signed with the Titans, meaning Tannehill is not going to re-sign with them, meaning that the Las Vegas Raiders will pick him up. Thoughts? Wow. A lot um, to unpack right there, right? I feel like you have a lot of – Points in there, and I feel like a couple of those might happen, <laughs> but I. But the odds of all three of them happen. The odds of all of them happening are very low. I, I think that the the lowest chance is Tannehill to the Raiders. Yeah, I feel like the lowest chance would definitely be Tannehill to the Raiders. I would say the highest chance that you have is probably. I would I would say the highest thing you have is Brady to the Titans. Brady to the Titans is uh, definitely a possibility. Uh, and then I would say second would definitely be Derek Carr going to the Bears just because that play style that he has definitely fits with the Bears. So I think I would definitely love to see Derek Carr go to the Bears if he's not wanted uh, in Las Vegas. And I would love to see Brady on the that Titans team to see if he can finish what they started last year with Tannehill and then see what else happens from there, see what other crazy things stem from that so, series of events. So take as a whole, what pepper do I get for this one? Man, I mean, that's combined. Yes. I, I, you definitely that get is my whole that, take. I think you definitely get that Carolina. Hell yeah. We, <laughs> I, one, I get the hottest take you can get. Yeah. I am that, amazing. Yes. If we're combining all of those takes together, I think we're definitely Carolina. If they were just like, if you just made one of those statements, it'd be a lot lower just because there's a chance for all of those. But each of those happening and causing affecting the next that that's definitely a, a hot hotter take than you, you've had in a long time so i am really okay with getting the highest ranking we could get um on the first time of doing these hot takes of course i'm not going to live up to the expectation now because the only <laughs> place to go is down thanks for that jalen no saying expectations high so we could just tank them next time we do something like this Yep. Yeah, so I'm gonna need your hot take now. All right, you're gonna have to bear with me here. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be slightly biased, but there are stats to back this up. All right. Okay. Based okay. off 
of the last two seasons Mm -hmm. and how the season ended with the MVP race of uh, Patrick Mahomes winning MVP two years ago, and then last year, Lamar Jackson won MVP in his second year. Uh, I know that uh, Patrick Mahomes uh, was a, a, didn't play much his rookie year and then came on and then finally got to play and ended up winning MVP. And then we mm-hmm. also have Lamar Jackson, who in his official second year won MVP. So based off of the last two years and how they went of second-year quarterbacks say Don't winning say MVP, what I think you're going to say. Please Kyler don't say Murray you is going to be MVP you said it. <laughs> of the 2020-2021 season. Okay. No. <laughs> no. <Yes. laughs> you want to know what you get on this one, Jalen? You what? get you get a pepperoncini in this one, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, based off of it, even I mean, if we're talking Vegas, about how if we're if we're going bull predictions in hot yeah. takes, yeah, that's a hot, that's a really hot take, but I just hate it, and so <laughs> yeah, but we I have can't Lamar believe you said it. that. We had Patrick Mahomes win it. They both had, but great they had seasons. good first seasons. They had decent first seasons. Uh, you can you can argue Kyler Murray had a pretty good first season for what he had with those injuries, changing oh, running backs yeah. multiple times. Here. Hey, with, with okay. much the worst so I'll make a deal with you. I'll, I'll make I'll make a deal with you. If Kyler Murray gets MVP next year, I will give you the logins to my Twitter, my personal Twitter, and Instagram, and you could do whatever you want with that for a whole day. I already had your Instagram, and I yeah, have your Twitter. You don't have my Twitter anymore. I changed both my passwords just because of that. <laughs> But there is our brand new segment. And the last couple weeks wait, have been wait. great. We've had some- if yes. Kyler Murray oh. wins MVP next year, I want a jersey. I, I want a Kyler Murray jersey if he wins MVP. And what happens when he doesn't? I mean, we're not going to do that because there's a big chance he does it. <laughs> I'm just saying, you said it was a terrible take. So That's if true. Kyler if Kyler okay. Murray is and if if my pick ha- if my pick happens, you owe me a thousand bucks. I'll, let's not do a thousand. I'll get you something, but I'm not giving you a thousand. Okay, hey, that's fair. That's fair. But that's our brand new segment. Hope you guys like it. Let's give us your feedback. Let's know if you guys like that. If that's a keeper, I think it's honestly. I think it's a lot of fun going some conspiracy theory type stuff with this, especially with my take. My take. But just a few. And no, it wasn't. It wasn't as bold. It was saying one thing. I had three things in one take. Okay, so don't even. I, at I me. was using. Stats based off of past. I was theory. using logic. <laughs> Mine's is very using... logical. And so was mine. And technically, I didn't say yours was it. And in, in Vegas, Kyler Murray has the same odds to win MVP as Tom Brady does next season. You're lying. Wow. No, those are the and the actual okay. odds. <laughs> that's that's one hell of a stat right there. 